Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Thief 2 The Middle Age with Kamchak Fisco. We're inside the Maw. We've followed the courier back here, the pagan weasel that's working with Mosley, to find out what's really going on. So now we're exploring the Maw to find the truth. Find where this courier went. together. <clears throat> Excuse me. To the person of persons whom I hope will have an interest, how does one begin? I am in a position to be of service to you and your cause to save lives. But even as I write this, I doubt you will trust me. Why would a high-ranking member of the City Watch help pagans? But I tell you it is true. I have helped you already, though you may not know it. Twice I have spied your agents in the city streets, and twice I looked the other way. Yes, I have helped, and at great risk to myself, too. For what if the letter, letter were, this letter were to be intercepted? Or if one day I were to look away when I see a pagan and find myself face to face with my superior? A superior who has given express orders to destroy any pagans I find. Questions, question your agents, and, you will see they will and you'll see they will verify the truth of my statement. Then, if you trust me, contact me. This is the only correspondence I will send so brazenly. From now on, we must decide a system for contacting each other. With complete sincerity, Lieutenant Mosley, City Watch. So she initiated the contact. Always nothing. Night. Push over here in the shadows. Let's figure out where your friend is. I hate these will o man. They totally get like next to you and illuminate you in the shadowy spots. It's not nice. Evil will o wisps goy. Night. Is this a shadowy spot over here? Yep. Okay, works for me. Okie dokie. So let's find us the the troops of the situation. Oh, some big shrooms, man. Okay, we're gonna have to get up at some point. Anytime we gotta stick to shady spots. I think they're above us. The ones we're here. We got everything on the ground floor here. Yep, looks like it. So let's see what we can do upstairs. Whoa! You don't see anything. You didn't see anything. Trap, trap. Good night. So we got healing potions, and now we've got our hands on the uh, healing fruit from this realm as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hold on one second, my apologies. My ear is suddenly really, really itchy in this headphone. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Man, the level of unprofessionals in my show sometimes. It's a shame. You guys just loyal fans for sticking with me. Good night. Oops. We need to eat that. Anything over here? Got me a potion. Guessing it's mostly again? Yep. One second. Sorry about that, I had to cough. My new friend, I was very pleased to receive your answer so quickly. I will now outline for you my plan for how we will correspond with each other in the future. Firstly, make contact Contact will only be made after will be made only after a signal. Each day, check to see which plant I have in my office window. If it is the peony, then you know I have a message to give you. Then at midnight, I will drop my message off in the alley we agreed upon earlier. Please make sure an agent picks it up promptly, as I cannot risk anyone else seeing these letters. 
If you need me to come, if you need to contact me, then leave a sage branch outside my door in the morning, and I will pick up your message at noon in the same alley. Do not deviate from the system. I will assume that anyone who contacts me in your name outside of these rules is a spy or a traitor to our conspiracy, and will have him kill him or her killed. Similarly, any persons who claim to be sent by me or any message you receive from me sent in a different manner, assume it to be false, and of course, our secret associations discovered by a third party. I shudder at the thought. Yours sincerely, Lieutenant Mosley. A pretty smart plan, actually. This is just another, oh no, that's the way I came. And my brain's running on all cylinders. Okay, so what do we got here? Are there any froggies in this little? Winters? Mm -hmm. No, got me in summers. Who then? Who guards these winters? None guards is it. For what could get that bars? <laughs> None's good. None's good makes it. <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble there, monkey man, but I'm here. Eating the apples. I better play the stash in. That'll work. Yeah, a piece of silver. Who's in there? Oh crap. You don't see me. Sneaky shadow. Sneaky thief. Skulls. I assume the ramp is just the way down, so I want to finish exploring before I head down there. What do they have? There's just a way down. Quite a few of these, apparently. Night. Fruits. Have you and stash your butt over here in the shadows? Okay. Dead rat. Apparently, those spectacles, those spectacles aren't real spectacles that are valuable. So, <coughs> excuse me. My secret correspondent, I have found out something new. All this time I thought Sheriff Truett, possibly out of some misguided sense of duty, was acting alone against your people, but that is sadly untrue. One second, people, I have to cough. So it's been the mechanist behind my problems this whole time. I hadn't gotten that far, Garrett, thanks. As is his fashion, Truett was hired. Yes, and by the mechanist. He was met with Karis. He has met with Cass, their leader, several times, and from those meetings came the order to systematically eradicate all pagans. Oh, and they're so clever. You are now officially potential obstacles to the greater good who must be eliminated. You and others, too, including a poor soul named Garrett, whom they pursue mercilessly. Why Karis has targeted him, I have yet to discover, but as of this letter, he remains at large. The others were unfortunately not so lucky as you and this Garrett seem to be. I fear your peril is too great. True, it can be handled, but Cass and his mechanists, stay away from them. I trust you are taking every possible precaution. My thoughts are with you. I remain Lieutenant M. So they're coming after me with a blood vengeance, too. And not just for the usual reasons. Ha ha. I hope this guy doesn't run out of blood. I guess that's obviously the way forward, so we need to go back and head down and club everybody in the area. Grab what lootsies we can. I don't want to go to that one. Because that's dropping down on platforms, so that'll make too much noise. Who's the noisy one? Excuse me, dude, you're in the way. Come here, you. Take a relaxing nap. Worshipping the trickster too hard. You need some sleep. I guess some sh 
Shadow to work with. Oh, I hate these mushrooms. And you can't pick them up, which is all the more annoying. flowers, but nothing to do with them. I see the fruit in the middle of the uh, mushroom ring. One second. Oh, that was horrible. I'm glad I muted it. Okay. Moving along. Gold and silver. Can't mantle over that, so we have to go around it. Lie down. Okay. Dang it! Specifically didn't want to use the healing fruit. Thanks a lot. Freaking interface. Okay. Technically that was my fault. I clicked one too many times, but still, that was frustrating. Oh great, I get the snake depression. We may have to go down that other way because it was a different section of the underground. So we were, we are gonna have to hop down those steps. Rats. Yep, it's a different area. Damn it. Right through the duck. Drop, because that's the only time you don't make sound. Oh jeez, we're like right in the open. Whoa! Where's those friggin' flashbangs? There they are. Screw subtlety. Tired of playing with you boys! Tired of your sass. That's enough sass from you. If I wanted sass, I'd be playing with the guards. One second, please. Man. Ooh, fancy woodsy mask. Okay, what do we have? The fire. Sweet. So we back up. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Did we get it all? Probably. Oh, good. This stuff does heal, just really freaking slowly. Just make sure we're fully topped off. That way we don't have to waste any of the fancy healing food or healing potions. Yeah, I think we're done. So we got a few extra goodies. That's useful. Now we make our way back forward. Hope I'm going the right way. Snow. Yep, going the right way. forward. Probably want to go back and go down below. Oh, that creepy sound just reminded me of what's here. Oh, God, I'm going to be using the invisibility potion and the speed potion. I'm telling you that straight up right now. I probably need to show you what I'm going to be running from, but <laughs> I hate those tree ants. That's what they are, the tree ants. And they uh, chase after you, and they pretty much will kill you pretty friggin' quickly. They're nasty. New 
objective. Congratulations, you've tasted at least 900 in loot. Not bad, considering you're in hostile territory. Thank you. Must have been 900 on this map alone, is what they're saying. Not including the whole city section. I spy some loots. Let's make sure we got everything. Oh, I can hear the, that. That's the. Oh, that's the sound they make. They're very reminiscent of the Rumblers in uh, System Shock 2 because it's the same model modified. So. They're big, they're powerful, they're mean, and they're fast. Bad combination. Okay, so where do. How do we get back out of here? Where's the. Hello? Where's, where's the tree I came in? Hello? Hello? Am I just being stupid, or what's going on here? Um, okay, I walked around the entire outside perimeter, I didn't see anything. Now I'm walking around the inside perimeter, and I still don't see anything. What's going on here? Am I stupid, or am I blind? I, where the... Where in the world? There it is. Uh, excuse me, I had to cough horribly. Okay, yeah, this is the right way. I was like, crap, this is another dead end. Come on, climb up the vine. Up we go. Let's deal with the horror show. Him right there. Blending in with the friggin' trees. Makes sense they're here when you find out what they're protecting, but still creepy to the nth degree. There's the invisible potions if I have to right now. I actually want to try to scout out. I never actually searched this area. Once I realized what the hell those things were, I ran my ass off in the previous playthroughs. I never bothered to look around. This time I'm actually being, in my opinion, really stupid and taking a look around. There's two more of them. Friggin' bastards are everywhere. There's another one. aggro them so I can show you just what they're like. There you got their attention! Hi boys! How you doing? <laughs> okay, so now you have an idea what they're like. So that's that's enough of that. We're, we're gonna go back to sneaking. Friggin' invisibility potion. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. I might need that bloody thing. There's the courier. Dead as a doorpost. These bastards are everywhere. Oh, creepy. Creepy, creepy. So, cutscene. I apologize for it being loud. I forgot the cutscene jumps right in, so sorry about that. I didn't have a chance to turn the volume down. And here's the big reveal of this, of this game. I can't talk. So I'm just going to shut myself up now.
Vanilla. Um, Scarf chili is all. Alright. Garrett. Victoria. Oh, Garrett. Who is it you wish to fight? Me? Or my thistle aids? Oh, or the sycamore? Just you. I am not the enemy, Garrett. Nor anyone here. Here is your enemy. Mechanists. It's no secret that they wish to destroy you, too. Hero that you are. Regardless, you will join us in our struggle against them. Join you? Not really my first choice. Choice? My choice is to avenge the death of a friend. You understand nothing of suffering and duty. Pathetic man, fool. In one moment, I could... The past is the past. Now we have an enemy in common. Even you must see that this is so. I seem to have a lot of enemies lately. Anyway, you have matters well in hand. It is true that I am powerful, but I draw my strength from this place. Where the mechanists are, I am not so assured of victory. Pity. I have no time for your vengeful thoughts and biting words. But be assured, Garrett, you are stronger with us than without us. We have been watching the Mechanists for three moons. Pagan agents are posted in every sector of the city. Your report, Larkspur. One loss in the old city, and two more in Dayport. Sometimes enemies must join forces to overcome a more terrible foe. So tell me, Garrett, yes or no? Are we agreed to work together, sharing knowledge and skills against the Mechanists? I... I put vengeance aside. The Earth keeps my promise for me. Now you have my oath on it. I'm cursed if I break the Covenant. Now your answer. I... agree... that... Good. The Earth keeps your promise for you. Creepy. Okay, so yeah, apparently now we're in it with Victoria. So, still missed 500 loot. Holy crap, that's a lot of loot to miss. Okay, go ahead and turn the volume down before the next cutscene. We'll start up the cutscene for the next level, and away we go. The Builder has gifted thee with the greatest of all treasures, the future. But thine own will forges the key that opens the lock. Karis Private Correspondence. The new scripture of the Master Builder? Karis is rewriting ancient Hammer texts. But to what end, we don't know. So you want me to find out? Yes, but there's a more pressing problem. Karis is throwing a ball for the local nobility at Angel Watch, the new Mechanist Tower in Dayport. We need to know what he is up to. You have to be there, Garrett. Tonight. While the party is in progress. Angel Watch? Is this how our arrangement is gonna work? You coming up with ways for me to get myself killed? Is this really Garrett, the master thief I hear talking? If danger is going to be a problem for you, then... Just give me the details. Security at the tower will be extra heavy with the city's nobility in attendance. So gaining entrance will be difficult. For you, maybe. But I won't be knocking on the front door. The rooftops aren't called the Thieves' Highway for nothing. I have some equipment for you. You should begin immediately. And also... Remember to pickpocket the party guests? You must find out whatever you can about the Cetus Project, a name our agents have overheard repeatedly. Karis has an office in the tower. Try to obtain some information there. Brilliant idea. Try to find information about Karis' secret project in his office. You do remember who the enemy is, don't you, Garrett? If your information is wrong and I end up risking my neck for nothing, this arrangement is over. Then try asking me that question again. Looks like we get into the bed with the devil to take out the bigger demon. 
The mechanists are out to kill you. Get to Angel Watch via the rooftops to avoid unwanted attention. Infiltrate Angel Watch. The access hatch on the eastern side should provide undetected entry. Spy on Karis to learn why he's throwing the party. Break into Karis' office and find some information on the Cetus Project. Find and read Karis' latest entry into the new scripture of the Master Builder. You claim you're the best, now prove it. Take the Thieves' Highway and grab 1550 worth of loot. A true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. When your objectives are com have been completed, get out of Angel Watch and back to the safety of the Bell Tower. Now this is the first of, I think, like three times we go to Angel Watch. So, yeah, it's... Let's go! Gotta go with the water arrows first. Grab as many flashbangs as we can. 30 water arrows. It's only three flash bombs. We've got three vine arrows, but I don't think vine arrows are recoverable, so... Produced by Victoria's Magic and brought to the city via proper bribes. Zero can take root on grill work as well as any normal surface. Normal rope surface. That's useful. This is the first passage of the new scripture of the Master Builder, written by Karis and given to you by Victoria. Six moss arrows, water arrow, scouting orb, worthless flares. Frog beast eggs! They're finally working for us! Smuggled into the city at great expense by Victoria's agents. These items will burst soggily when thrown and produce a frog beast who will ally with you. <coughs> Excuse me. If I remember correctly, you can kill with these things and it doesn't count against you. Got a healing potion, loot tip. The city holds many opportunities for a train thief if he knows where to look. Okay, equipment tip. Local merchant may not have the items you need, but he knows where you can obtain them. Now I'm actually going to scale back on the water arrows for the equipment. Because if it's equipment, we should be able to replace it. Because I really don't want to give a flash bombs. Those things are so freaking useful. I wish I could get more, but yeah, you need water arrows. It's, yeah, it's a rough trade. It's a very rough trade. Yeah. You know what? Let's find out what the loot tips are. Then we'll actually go back and... Um, can I save here, actually? I can save the equipment screen. Nice. So let's find out what the tips are, then we'll go back and change our gear. Equipment tip. Mr. Gat, my apology for the inability to serve your particular needs, but at this time I simply lack the supplies you require. But I do know where a man of your particular skills might acquire a few useful tools. Castle Carlisle in Dayport has a well-stocked armory, complete with the finest arrows and explosives. Getting into the armory may be difficult, though. Rumor has it that Carlisle has installed a new security door, and the thing is immune to everything from lock-picking to battering rams. Still, a man of your reputation should be able to circumvent such challenges, no? Rudyard. Okay. That's one tip. Loot tip. G. Got some news for you. A guy named Valencia just entered Dayport. He's the only th he's only there for a couple of days. He's some kind of diamond exporter. Deals with rough stone. Well, while he's in town, he stored a pouch of uncut diamonds at Dayport Traders Bank. Security there is supposed to be pretty loose. Hell, the place is on the top floor of one of them marble buildings, so they must not expect any company, if you know what I mean. Should be fairly straightforward if you take the thieves' highway. Okay, so that's all we need for that tip. So let's go back our gear. Get our money back. Go back to full water arrows. Uh, you know, I'll actually give up two water arrows for another flashbang. So that's going to be really, really useful. Moss arrows I never use. I really wish you could sell crap you don't want. That would be so nice. Okay, so vine arrows. We've got three. I hope that's enough because I don't know if they're recoverable. We've got as many water arrows as we can get minus the two because I want the extra flash bomb. And fire arrows and mines are for killing. We don't really do that, so I guess we're good. So a quick save, and we will stop here because we're right at the 29 minute mark. Thank you everybody for joining me. You guys are awesome fans. So the next episode, we steal our way all the way to Angel Watch to find out what is Karis really up to? What is his master plan? And what will happen next? Thank you, everybody, for joining me. You're awesome fans, and you take care of yourselves. See you later now. Bye-bye.